What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to test the Kilo Sierra Delta Dash 01 Foxtrot thermal switch. This one is uh, rated for 45 degrees Celsius and you can find them pretty much everywhere. eBay, Amazon, Alibaba, wherever. Uh, I've got one mounted here, sloppily, but it is mounted. Directly to uh, my little 10 amp power supply heat sink and I've got a, uh, a small blue LED inside the case here just for uh, visual reference running through the switch as well as a, uh, a small cooling fan there for the past transistors so you'll probably hear the fan kick on but just in case I've got the blue LED in there to signal as well uh, the load itself is going to be feeding through these wires here on the banana jacks, which I've got those running through my fluke meter here, just so we can keep an eye on the, uh, the amperage, the current draw, because my load is an old school uh, EL3000, which is massive overkill for this, but it's what I've got and it works. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't have very many digits for the voltage and the current, which is why I have the uh, the fluke up here. It's got the old an analog uh, voltage or uh, current adjustment there, and it's only got basically a two-digit two voltage. Uh, but, I mean, this thing is rated for up to 400 volts, so, you know, kind of just how it is but with that being said power supply is already on I've got it set for 1.6 amps to draw just to, so we can see it hopefully a slow gradual increase in temperature I'm gonna go ahead and turn the uh, load on Let's see it actually dropped down to 1.5 amps and the fluke is showing 1.55 so let's uh, adjust this down just a hair. Try to get it spot on. There's 1.5 amps on the load. And uh, that's pretty darn close to 1.5 amps. So that'll work. So now that we've got this drawing, let's turn on our, our temperature sensor here. See the, uh, the metallic temperatures probe here goes to this alligator clip which is just clamped to the heat sink but it really it takes temperature right here where it links to the alligator clamp so it's really not that accurate the uh, the blue wire however i've got it mashed between the temperature sense uh temperature switch and the heat sink itself so that should give us a little bit better reading so with that being said and unfortunately the uh backlight on my little temperature meter here won't stay lit but I think you can see that okay as is so we'll just let it do its thing we're currently at 35 and it doesn't want to focus getting close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit which is 36 and a half degrees now as soon as this thing does kick on I'm going to uh, shut the load off so it'll instantly start cooling down with the fan. Uh, again, the thermal switch is rated for 45 degrees Celsius, which we're coming up on. There's 38 degrees Celsius, which is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're still drawing. 1.4978 1.5 amps 13.8 volts so everything's still going according to schedule coming up on 40 degrees celsius which is 104 degrees fahrenheit
Maybe I should have turned the load up just slightly. I didn't realize it would take quite this long, but that's okay. We'll roll with it. I'm not going to edit the video though. Too many people will cry as is. So we're at 44 degrees Celsius, which is 111.6 degrees. Again, switch is rated for 40. There it goes. It kicked on at 44 and a half, or just under. I'm going to shut the, uh, the load off. And as you can see, the fan is running. So now we'll just see when it kicks back out. We're already under our... 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So this thing was almost spot on as far as its uh, temperature rating for engagement. I have no clue when it'll disengage. I would guess 15 degrees, but I'm guessing. <clears throat> I would have guessed it would have kicked out by now already, but it does sound like the fan is maybe slightly fluctuating in speed. Eighty four degrees Fahrenheit. I really thought this thing would have kicked up by now. Coming down on twenty seven degrees. Celsius, which is 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so if it reaches, if it reaches 25 degrees Celsius, that's Oh, there we go, 26.2-ish. So there you have it. <clears throat> the um, KSD-01F. And you can get them in different uh, ratings temperature-wise. I believe it's rated for 5 amps, 24 volt DC. I don't recall the AC rating on it. But uh, in a future video, I will put a full 5 amp load on it. And we'll see how it handles that. But as far as uh, the, uh, the rating temperature, it was just about spot on. So as long as you can live with a nearly 20 degree drop before it kicks out, I would say uh, not too shabby. Peace.